What's up, guys? It is Master Chef Brody. Not really. Uh, I'm I'm kind of cleaning up around the house, doing some things, and uh, I was going through the cabinets and saw that there was some cake and icing, so I had to make it. I'm probably gonna eat it all tonight, just because I made it wrong. So it's kind of like you have to eat it all. Uh, I'll show you what happened. I don't I don't know. The white stuff in the pan on the cake is icing. The white stuff on the cake that's not in the pan is flour. I thought I read in the instructions. It, I'm telling you. It says flour lightly. Grease sides and bottom of each pan with shortening. Maybe this was for cupcakes. I don't know. Regardless, I messed up. So let me show you kind of what's going on here. We got, we got, uh, we got a situation here. And, and so we got half the cake in the pan still, and the other half came out. I mean, that doesn't look bad. It's just this part got stuck. So now I'm kind of going to do, let's see where I can put you so you can, uh, you don't care me icing. So I'm going to be icing while we're talking, um, even though I want to talk about something else. Uh, actually, I can't ice while we talk because I want this vlog to be out about cleats. That's what I'm going to talk about. Ah! The title of the vlog is... About cleats, so I need to talk about cleats. So, um, this has been a question a while now that I've, I've been wanting to answer about what makes a good ultimate frisbee cleat um, or what cleats I use or whatever. So, let me talk. Oh, gosh, the thing's in my way. Let me talk about that real fast. So, uh, what we got here. This is the cleat of my choice. Uh, if you buy it from Nike online, it actually comes in this bag that says Boom. I don't know why you can't see that. There, boom, which is kind of cool. But these are the cleats that I like to use. Now these are these are customized. They don't look like this. You can make them look however you want, um, which I think is like, I think Nike charges like an extra 30 or 40 dollars to do that. Or you can just buy the stock color, stock version. But uh, these are basically going to be my game cleats for next year, uh, or for the AEDL, whichever. I decide probably for the UDL. Um, remember the vapor, the vapor carbon fly wires, um, and so this is basically the cleat, and uh, we'll show you all sides. It's got my name and my number on the back, the do, and then the cleat on the bottom. And uh, oh, I might have to get a different. Yeah, I might have to get a different pair of cleats. Oh, you can kind of see it from here. Yeah, you can see it from here. That's fine. I was gonna say because the main thing about cleats. Um, that I, I like for ultimate is the, the, the actual cleat part, the bottom that uh, is going to be sticking into the ground. And that's the part I'm going to talk about. So these are the cleats I like to use. And I'm going to explain kind of the reason why I use these cleats. And, uh, it, and I'm going to talk about also why these are good cleats for me and could be potentially good for you or it could be bad for you. Okay. So for big guys like myself, if you're over six feet or you've got some weight to you, you're gonna want a cleat that has some stability to it, that has something that is gonna keep your foot in the cleat and protect your ankles. Cause you got a lot of more weight, you got a lot more weight up top. So your ankles are gonna have a lot more strain on them. Um, so when I first started playing, I, I wore very, very light cleats and uh, very small ankle support. And uh, those were soccer cleats and they're the Copas. And they were great to run around in. It felt like you were wearing a sock. I mean, it didn't feel like you were carrying this heavy thing around. So that was awesome, you know. But when it came to jumping, when it came to like planting real hard, uh, pivoting, all those things, I really didn't feel like my foot was really comfortable. I never felt like safe. I never felt going up high and coming down on someone's foot or something or a bad spot in the grass that my ankle was going to be safe. So, um, with these cleats, as you can see, the heel support comes up pretty high. Uh, I'm pretty sure in the Copas, it, 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 I think it levels off. So the heel support comes up pretty high. It's got a tall tongue and also the, uh, the ankle here, the ankle support is pretty high too. Um, so I really like that aspect of the cleat first is ankle support. Um, the next aspect of the cleat, why I like this, is the fact that I know there's been a couple more cleats that have come out. Um, a lot more expensive than this cleat uh, that is lighter, but this is a pretty lightweight cleat. Um, when I put it on, uh, I feel secure, but I also don't feel like I'm carrying around a boat. 
You know, it, it's a pretty lightweight cleat, and I, I enjoy that because in Frisbee, you run a lot. You, you run a whole lot. And if you think about it, you know, every little ounce that you put on your foot, it, it adds up throughout the weekend. So the more, the more weight you can take off of your cleat, the better your legs are going to be. They're going to be carrying around less, less work. They're going to be doing less. So at the end of the weekend and stuff, you're not going to be as tired. So um, the weight of the cleat's important. These are pretty good on weight. So that's another thing you want to look at. Uh, besides like how it looks and whether or not you think it looks cool, I mean, that is actually kind of important. When you put on something that looks super sick, you're probably going to play a lot better. Um, it, it, it's, it's just sometimes it's that mentality of, you know, when you put on – new shoes or when you put on a new outfit um, and you're looking good, it's going to make you want to, you know, kind of step up to that level of how you look. That might be, you know, a placebo effect. That might not affect you at all. Sometimes it doesn't affect me. I can go out in jorts and a sleeveless shirt and play, you know, pretty decent ultimate. But to a point when, you know, you got new fresh jerseys on, you got new fresh kicks, you got new fresh socks, you got maybe a new headband that you're rocking, all those things are gonna add. So make sure that you don't buy a cleat that you don't like because when you put it on, you're gonna be thinking, well, you know, this cleat's good, I guess, but I don't like how it looks on me. Buy something that you like, okay? Last thing I'm gonna talk about, and this is the most important, is the cleat design on the bottom. Is there some grass on there? Oh my gosh, that's not okay. I've worn these once. I wore these, I broke them in the other day just running around. But okay, so the reason why I like this cleat, I'm gonna have to hold it like this so you can kind of see it because they're clear and it doesn't go well with the lighting. First, you gotta look at the heel. If you think about it, when you're, when you're pivoting, a lot of times you pivot around on your heel. You know, you're not always up on that toe, you're sometimes on that heel. And also pushing off and stuff, I wanna make sure I have a good good cleat pattern for the heel. And so this one has four things and I really, I really like the kind of the pattern and stuff. I feel like that's really good. Okay. The midsection, I could care less. How they want to do this part doesn't bother, doesn't bother me, whatever. Just make sure they have cleats here. The last part I want to talk about is the toe. Okay. The toe. Now, when you go out to throw, when you go out to throw that, uh, that forehand, right? If you step out, you're not sitting back on your back foot stepping out. No one sits on that heel when they step out to throw that forehand. You're going to rise up onto that toe. You're going to come onto that toe. And if you don't have a toe cleat, if you're rocking soccer cleats, soccer cleats don't have toe cleats uh, because I think it's whatever for the kicking or whatever. But if, you, if you're rocking cleats without that toe cleat, when you come up on that heel, you're not really going to have anything sticking into the ground. It's just going to be the base of the shoe. So... Uh, the toe cleat for me, as a thrower, I really, really like it, um, and I like, I mean, they're basically teeth, and they're just sticking into the ground, so you can do whatever you want. So, that's that. Those are my cleats. Hit me up in the comments on questions on what you guys think about the cleats, if you have any idea about it. If you want these type of cleats, just go to Nike.com, search through their TDs, um, and uh, if it's really a problem and you guys can't find it, I will spend a little extra time and put a link in the description for you guys. But if it's not a problem, just do it yourself. Uh, in the comment section, let me know what you guys want to talk about. That's why I want. That's one thing. You can say whatever you want in the comments. But one thing, if you if you do have a topic that you want me to talk about, whether it be ultimate base, um, ultimate base, or uh, frisbee uh, trick shot base, or um, life stuff, or whatever, post in the comments what you guys want to talk about. All right, that's all I got. I'm Dark Horse going to Tampa tomorrow. Super pumped. Get to see Chris again. Uh, and, you know, I think we need a, a one bite challenge. We haven't had one in a while. So, one bite challenge coming to you soon from Tampa. Dark Horse uh, posted a new video on Everything Ultimate. Check it out. Dark Horse going to post a new video, kind of a new video. It's a shot that was already in a previous trick shot that I don't think got enough that got enough uh, attention that I want to make its own separate video for you guys that maybe have missed it. So that'll be on the TrickShot channel. And I'm going to try to get, before my flight tomorrow, 
I'm going to try to get a sick trick shot. I know I was supposed to do that today. I've had a lot of things on my plate. I didn't get around to it. So tomorrow, I'm waking up early. I'm going out. And I'm going to try and nail a sick trick shot. So that's what I got on cleats, guys. Hit me up in the comments. I'll talk to you later. Peace and man up.